Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as many of you know, the device manager in Windows is a very handy piece of software which lets you view and see a list of all the devices and hardware that is installed on your system. And as an example, is very handy in case you want to uninstall or reinstall certain hardware or update drivers for hardware on your computer. And as an example, my Intel, if I go to my Intel graphics and I go to driver, update driver, as many of you know, we have two options, search automatically for drivers and browse my computer manually to locate those drivers manually on my hard drive. Now in this video, I just want to point out a small little detail and change that has um, changed uh, in the device manager um, and that has been fixed um, in Windows 11 build 22,000 and newer. That's the stable version of Windows 11. And if we click on browse my computer for drivers and we go to let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and we go to have disk, which takes me to a little um, window where I can go find the location of those um, drivers that are located on the driver package that is located on my hard drive. You will see now that the file path um, has been changed now in Windows 11 build 22,000 and newer to C, where in Windows 10 still and older, that is A, which used to be the floppy drives and the floppy disks back in the day. Now finally, with that uh, Windows 11 build 22,000, this Microsoft now has finally changed that default file path to C, so that now Device Manager can now automatically detect the OS drives. So um, as an example, um, it can easily now locate the driver package, where if that was still A like it is in Windows 10 and older, you still have to then go click and find the file location of that driver package. So it just means a lot of extra unnecessary clicking around and scrolling, where now in Windows 11, that default file path uh, it has been set to C, which is the, and uh, for most users would be the OS drive, the main operating system drive, of your computer which just makes things a lot more functional so just a small detail but i thought interesting as you might not have noticed the change so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one